Alexandra is a small community uh, with people from different parts of Africa. There are so many people living in Alexandra. It's normal in Alex to find a whole family of 12 people living in one room, sharing that room. And then there's also like lack of schools in Alexandra. We find uh, 50 to 60 learners in one small classroom. A lot of the youth, they're not at school. Some because they've dropped out because of drugs and pregnancy, and some because they've finished to grade 12, but there's no opportunity for them to continue to visit. Then they're just in the township. Lip is a very different school from the schools in Alex and every other school. At Lip, they are concerned about the well-being, how our weekend was. So it's not just uh, only like uh, reading and studying. It's also different in the sense that everyone uses technology today. It kind of like grooms you to be a leader or whatever you want to be. Our computer lab, when I got here, most of them were not working. When Team for Tech came, they fixed the ones that were not working. So it is now fully functioning. More teachers are also taking interest in different ways of using technology to help learners learn better. They've trained our teachers on how to use technology to teach in class. If you look at our curriculum, uh, we sort of try to introduce them to robotics and coding. I've sort of thought of it and I said, I think our students will be great at it. We actually had to take it to our partner team for tech because we couldn't fund it. They actually came back to us and said, if it's something that you want to do in our schools, we can actually enable it for you. And our students are actually going to be competing at the robotics project. We don't want our students to be left behind in the 21st century. If they enjoy doing coding, if they enjoy doing uh, robotics, obviously it's going to create that thinking where they want to be uh, engineers and obviously creating a career path for themselves. What I've learned about technology and how to use it is going to help me a lot in university. Now I know how to use the computer, how to use the internet. So I think LIB, in a way, unlocked my mind. The fact that our students, when they graduated from the Leap School, they don't want to move out of Alexander. As much as it is a chaotic and messy place, it is also something that they take pride in. So I know it's not going to be as it is forever. My dream for the future is to um, have a, to have big businesses, preferably um, technological businesses, which can hire people, give them job opportunities. I think that is my way of saying thank you to the community that raised me.